Hello everybody and welcome to story time. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm so glad you could join me for this week's toddler time. Are you ready to get started? We are going to start with our welcome song. Here we come now to story time, to story time, to story time. Here we come now to story time, so early in the morning. And this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands, so early in the morning. And this is the way we stump our feet, stump our feet, stump our feet. This is the way we stump our feet, so early in the morning. And this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. All right, so now it is time for our first story for today. And today's first story time is called Secret Pizza Party. And this story is by Adam Rubin. Poor raccoon. All he wants in life is some pizza. If only he knew how to ask for it politely. Ah, pizza. So beautiful, you could hang it on the wall of a museum. So convenient, you could eat it in the bathtub. Of course, the best part about pizza is the gooey cheesiness, salty pepperoniness, sweet, sweet tomatoness, and crispity, crunchity crust. Yum! Sorry, raccoon. I didn't mean to rub it in. Hey, cheer up! I just had a great idea. Let's throw a pizza party at your house tonight. Shh, don't tell anyone. This will be a secret pizza party. I know what you're thinking. Why would we keep such a delicious, delicious party a secret? Okay, sure. It's so folks don't want to show up to bonky wood brooms. But that's not the only reason. When you make something secret, you make it special. Regular handshake, boring. Secret handshake, booyah. Regular staircase, tiring. Secret staircase, terrific. Regular pizza party, get that raccoon off the table. Secret pizza party. Get that raccoon another slice of pizza. He's the guest of honor. Hot diggity dog. Our pizza party is going to be so much fun. Call the pizza man and tell him to bring over his absolute finest pizza pie. Hang on a minute. You don't want the delivery guy to know where you live. He might recognize you from the posters and chase you off with a broom. Think, raccoon, think. <gasps> okay, now play it cool. You're just an honest pizza buying citizen who left his wallet in the car. The pizza man thinks you'll be right back. <gasps> Let's go. I've planned the perfect escape route around the broom factory, over the broom enthusiast club, past the raccoon sniffing broom bots. Wait a second. Raccoon sniffing broom bots. Uh-oh. Run, raccoon! Run like the wind! Phew! We made it. Let's barricade the doors and pop open that pizza box. Mmm. Secret pizza party! Oops. I said that kind of loud. Sorry, pizza smells give me the happy screams. Try not to crunch too loud. Definitely no high-fiving or music or dancing. In fact, we'd better turn off the lights and whisper just to be safe. Secret pizza party. What's the matter? Sweet sassy molassy, look at all that pizza. Clearly, these people are much better at throwing parties than they are at keeping secrets. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, you're in. Just play it cool. No one suspects a thing. Uh-oh. Secret pizza party! 
Daddy. The end. All right, so next for today, we have a song together. Are you ready? If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. Stomp. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. If you want to eat some pizza, shout hooray, hooray. If you want to eat some pizza, shout hooray, hooray. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, shout hooray, shout hooray. If you want to eat some pizza, do all three. Are you ready? Can you clap? Stomp, stomp, hooray. If you want to eat some pizza, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. All right, now we are all ready for our second story for today. And today's second story is called Peep the Cat in the Perfect Pizza Party. And this story is by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the cat loves pizza. Pete the cat loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachios on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni pretzels and pistachios would be just fine, but I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new, but maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle pizza party. Gus said pepperoni pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle popcorn pizza party. Alligator said pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickles and popcorn would be just fine, but I really love papaya on mine. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza party. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high they had to stop. 
Ding! The pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take the first bite. And the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was... Out of sight. Dynamite. Just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. The end. All right, so next for today, we are going to do some shaking with our scarves. So can you find a scarf or a blanket or anything you can shake around? And are you ready? Can you shake? Can you shake, shake, shake? Shake, shake, shake. Can you shake way up high in the sky? Way up high. And can you shake down low? Down low. And can you shake it up high again? Shake way up high. And can you shake it down low? Now, can you shake your scarf on top of your head? Can you shake it on top of your head? Can you shake your scarf on top of your shoulders? Can you find your shoulders? What about your elbow? Can you shake it on your elbow? Can you shake, shake, shake. And what about on your tummy? Can you shake it on your tummy? Shake, shake, shake. Now, can you shake your scarf really, really fast? As fast as you can go. Shake, shake, shake. Fast, fast, fast. And can you shake it really slow? In slow motion. And can you shake really fast again? Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. And can you shake it really slow? All right, now can you take your scarf and can you toss it up in the air and catch it? Can you toss and catch? Toss it and catch it. Toss and catch. Try it again. Toss and catch. All right, now can you do it one last time? Toss it up and catch it. All right, so now we are ready for our first song together with our scarves. Are you ready? We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. We wave them up high and we wave them down low. We wave them in the middle because it's fun to do. You ready? Now we're going to toss our scarves. We toss our scarves together. We toss our scarves together. We toss our scarves together because it's fun to do. We toss them way up high and we toss them down low. We toss them in the middle because it's fun to do. Nice job. You can give yourself a great big shake, 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 shake. All right, so now you can go ahead and put your scarf away for today because now it is time for today's last story. And today's last story is called Pizza Pizza. And this story is by William Stieg. Pete is in a bad mood. Just when he's supposed to play ball with the guys, it decides to rain. Oh no. Pete's father can't help noticing how miserable his son is. He thinks it might cheer Pete up to be made into a pizza. So he sets him down on the kitchen table and he starts kneading the dough and stretching it this way and that. Now the dough gets whirled and twirled up into the air. Next, some oil is generously applied. It's really just water. Then comes some flour. It's really just some talcum powder. And then some tomatoes, but they're really just checkers. He can't help giggling when his mother says she doesn't like tomatoes on her pizza. All right, says his father, no tomatoes, just some cheese. But the cheese is bits of paper. How about some pepperoni, Petey? P 
he can't answer because he's only some dough and stuff. But when that dough gets tickled, it laughs like crazy. Pizzas are not supposed to laugh. Pizza makers are not supposed to tickle their pizza. Well, says his father, it's time for this pizza to be put in the oven. Ah, now our pizza is nice and hot. Pete's father brings the pizza to the table. It's time to slice our pizza, he says. But the pizza runs away and the pizza maker chases him. The pizza gets captured and hugged. Now the sun has come out. So the pizza decides to go look for his friends. The end. All right, so that was our last story for today. So now we just have our goodbye song. Are you ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.